a great event for you and the family to check out our Brian West live in Scottsdale where amazing art is taking over the canals for the Scottsdale Public Arts Canal Convergence. This year's free event focuses on large-scale interactive pieces to get attendees involved with the artists and their pieces. Brian, what can you show us? Hi, Stacia. This is the fourth year for the Canal Convergence. And let me tell you, the artwork is incredible. It's a weekend-long celebration of water, of light, and of artists. So there are 12 installments. We're going to show you a few of them. Let's start with Affido Idea. This is Andre and Andrew. Tell me about droplets. Andre? Um, well, our uh, design is basically um, depicting um, the steel motion of a droplet. So basically starting from its simple form all the way where it actually expands all the way through. Almost uh, as if it's in a frozen state. We have 30 of these spiraling droplets. How do, how do they, you keep them from not moving? Is there an anchor? Yeah, there's a, a couple sets of CMU blocks that are holding it down, but also a, a buoyant system that's keeping it in place that uh, keep it from drifting afar. So it's actually in a wave formation, and an aerial view has a pretty nice uh, motion. And what I love about this is it's actually tied to social media. You can impact what the lights and the colors. Yes, uh, so there's a virtual interaction. What you can do um, is uh, look for Spiraling Droplets on Facebook or go to Scottsdale Public Art page. Um, if you add it uh, as a friend or request it, it gets excited. It does a kind of like a rainbow dance, and it sends you an image that says thank you. And then it says, uh, take a selfie with me. So if you take a picture with it, post it, uh, it turns red and it blushes and it, it, it kind of uh, virtually interacts with the user. I love that. So it's basically tied to the Wi-Fi, the social media. And where do I go spiraling droplets on Facebook, right? Yes. Perfect. So another one of the cool interactive designs, the artwork, are these. They actually make noise when you hit them. We're joined by Kiori and Aaron. Tell me about the double helix. So we wanted to have, uh, obviously, a double helix, but the combined, the thing that makes a double helix are the people. So we have a sine wave on this side of the bridge and a sine wave on the other side of the bridge. And when people cross in between and interact with the balls, that's what actually creates the double helix. And how did you guys come up with this concept and actually design the construction of it? It's uh, that uh, people move, uh, come from uh, their body, through the wonder feeling, feeling of a wonder. That's what uh, we are working on uh, always. And becoming part of the art. Just love that you can come up, hit them, they love and, and do that. One more exhibit I really want to show you. It's right over here, Bruce Monroe. He has blooms, and those are fishing poles at night. They completely light up. But, Stacia, we're going to have a lot more on the exhibits. If you just head to 12news.com or you can go to canalconvergence.com. Again, this event, a weekend-long celebration from Thursday at 5 p.m. until Sunday at 5 p.m. Brian, I am blown away by what you are showing us. And the fact that some of these things we can interact with on social media, that's just incredible. Have you interacted yet? I, I haven't, but you know, right after this, I'm going to take a selfie and I'm going to do it. Works better, though, at night so you can actually see the lights. Mm, good call. Okay, well, we'll be looking for that selfie so we can see what it looks like. All right, thanks, Brian.